This is how to construct the Pope Premium Hose Cart. These are all the contents you will need to build the cart. One handle, one foot, one axle, one pack of two screws, two wheel clips, one hose connector, one angled hose adapter, two wheels, one basket, two side frames, one crank handle, two reel supports, one hose layering guide, two drum plates. So let's begin. Step one. Firmly press the reel support clips into the recess of the drum plate until it clicks into place. Repeat with the other reel support. Line up the reel support clips with the recesses on the drum plate and firmly press down until they click into place. This creates the reel drum. Step 2. Take the handle and the hose layering guide. Position the frame into the three holes on one side then flex the other side of the handle to allow the other side of the hose guide to click into place. Remove the screws from the plastic bag. Then insert a screw into the hole and tighten with a Phillips head screwdriver. Repeat on the other side. Step 3. Take the foot and insert into the holes on each of the side frames, ensuring that the bend in the foot is facing downwards. Once both sides have been inserted, firmly push down until they click into place. Step 4. Next, slide one wheel onto the axle, then insert the wheel clip into the axle until it clicks, ensuring the tabs on the clip lock into the holes on the axle. You may need to squeeze a little on the tabs of the wheel clip to get into the hole on the axle. It is important that the tabs on the clip be in line with the holes in the axle, so they click once it is locked into position. If the clip is installed incorrectly, the wheel will easily come off when moved. Then, slide the axle through the holes on the side frames until the hole on the axle is visible on the other side of the side frame. Next, place the wheel onto the axle and insert the wheel clip the same as before. This bit is a little tricky, just because you can't see the hole on the axle once the wheel is on. So take care to remember where the location of the hole is when inserting the wheel clip. Step 5. Place the assembled drum between the side frames and insert the angled hose adapter. This is inserted between the reel supports and into the foregroove hole. You'll need to line up the grooves on the angled hose adapter and push through until the thread is visible on the other side ensuring the other end of the angled hose adapter is facing out between the reel supports. Next, screw the tap adapter to the outside of the angled hose adapter. Note, it doesn't matter what side you choose to insert the angled hose adapter or the handle. Step 6. The next step is to insert the crank handle. Turn cart on other side and line up the grooves of both the side plate and drums. Then align the ribs on the crank handle with the side plate and drum. Push the handle into place until it clicks. Step 7. Next, insert the handle into the side frames with the bend in the handle frame towards the wheels. There is a tab at the bottom of one side of the handle that only goes into one hole in the side frame to assist with getting the handle in the correct way. Push the handle in firmly until it clicks to secure. Step 8. Next, attach the tray into the large frame. There are tabs on each side of the basket that must line up with the top section of each hole on the handle. Once the tabs are lined up, push them into the handle and then push down firmly to lock into position. Step 9. To wind a hose onto the cart, feed the hose through the hose layering guide and then through the reel supports and attach to the angled hose adapter. Then begin winding up your hose. The hose layering guide assists to make winding your hose an easy task. The basket provides a handy spot to keep a hand spray or spare hose end fittings. The premium hose cart is now ready for use.